in these problems, we're dealing with what are called inscribed quadrilaterals. So you take a four-sided figure and you stick it inside a circle in such a way that all four uh, vertices of the quadrilateral are on the uh, edge of the circle. And there's one rule to know here with these inscribed quadrilaterals. These angles that are apart from each other are going to add up to 180, so they're supplementary. And in this problem, they want us to find the measure of A, B, C, and D. And what they've given us is these angles out here. So the first step shouldn't be too hard. This is a linear pair. So 180 minus 94, B is going to equal 86. And then since these are supplementary, we're actually going, um, doing the opposite math. We're going to subtract that back from 180, and you'll get 94 again. So D equals 94. Over here, a linear pair again, so 93, that's going to, A means A is going to equal 87, so A equals 87. And then supplementary down to C, C is going to equal 93. And that's all there is to that one. Let's look at one more here. This looks a little bit different. This says that given that the measure of angle X is 110, so there's angle X, WZ is congruent to YZ, that's labeled here. And the measure of angle Y equals 100. Find the measure of angle Z. Now, we don't really need to know that these are congruent because what we know is that opposite angles here in an inscribed quadrilateral are going to be supplementary. If we want to find angle Z, we simply subtract 110 from 180, and we get 70. And that's a little bit of work with inscribed quadrilaterals.